Apple CEO ignored Meg's demands for free iPhone 15 by ad deal but flew thousands of miles to meet Kate. The Harkles must be sinking into a deep state of depression when they see William and Catherine living their best lives, working hard, meeting with heads of state and industry leaders. And what are the Harkles up to? Paying to have old photos shown of Megan on the floor with her legs in the air on the set of suits. Muscling their way into the Kevin Costner charity event and then Megan's rejected from grabbing the microphone and giving an inspirational word salad speech. Oh dear. Meanwhile, William and Catherine met with Apple CEO Tim Cook at Windsor yesterday. The CEO praised the Prince and Princess of Wales, but he also didn't forget to imply Meghan and Harry in a negative way. Prince William and Princess Catherine welcomed Apple CEO Tim Cook at Windsor Castle. The Princess of Wales opted for a neutral autumn look by wearing a navy blue pinstripe blazer and matching trousers. Kate paired the smart cord with a beige toned turtleneck top and a swept back hairstyle. Despite debuting her trendy new fringe recently, the Princess of Wales kept them out of sight by tucking them neatly behind her ears. In a post on X, formerly known as Twitter, Tim Cook expressed how he had a wonderful time with the Prince and Princess of Wales and gave insight on the discussions that went down. It was a true honour to meet with the Prince and Princess of Wales, Cook said. We had a wonderful and wide-ranging discussion about the environment, mental health and other issues that mean a great deal to all of us. According to People, the trio spoke about the upcoming Earthshot Prize which is set to be held in Singapore on November the 7th. Tim Cook lives in the same state as Meghan and Harry but he flies thousands of miles to meet William and Catherine at Windsor. Too good. Earlier, an Apple spokesperson revealed on Twitter that a representative of a duchess implying Meghan, WME agency, have asked Apple Inc to give the Duchess of Sussex some tech upgrades. She hopes to receive an advertising contract for the iPhone 15 while her agency insists that she should receive a free iPhone. CEO Tim Cook opened the company's Fifth Avenue store Friday last week in New York to celebrate the official release of the iPhone 15 lineup, the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2. He ignored WME agency's request. Now Harry and Meghan have got to be doubly pissed because this meeting with Tim Cook has happened a mere couple of weeks after William was lauded by Mike Bloomberg and shared the Earthshot conference with Bill Gates. Megan could have met tycoons, worn tiaras and been welcomed by adoring Megan could have met tycoons, worn tiaras and been welcomed by adoring crowds like Kate. She could have had everything that Kate has. The castles, the jewels, the gowns. All she had to do was do a job as a working royal, follow the rules, show up on time, smile, be gracious. But she wouldn't have ever been ahead of Catherine, which was all that mattered, and what she could never get over.